The Blue Angels are a fan favorite in these jets. They top speeds of about 700 miles an hour and they can fly just 18 inches apart. As they storm the skies, heads turn and jaws drop. Lieutenant Commander Lance Benson didn't say he looks cool, but he couldn't deny it. The flying is, is second to none. You know, we kind of have that idea when we're younger. You got a lot of hopes and dreams when you're little. He's living it. They're among America's finest aviators and are impressed by other acts. John Tucker. <laughs> Oracle Challenger tumbles toward the ground and the Golden Knights streak through the sky. Then there's the Marine Air Ground Task Force, which captivates crowds. The CH-53 Super Stallion is a beast of an aircraft. And uh, we can move about 34 guys at a time with their full combat load inside the aircraft. Recon Marines can ride outside like they do in combat. I came up in the military in a very supportive time. The Vietnam veterans didn't uh, didn't get that luxury. This year's theme is a salute to Vietnam veterans. When they came home, they faced protests, not parades. The air show will have a memorial wall honoring those missing and killed in action. Benson also hopes to inspire future service members. Just to see the level of excitement in those kids' eyes, that is really cool. That's what we're here for. That's what we like to do. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Pretty cool. And be sure to tune in again tomorrow night. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins will be back out at the air show, bringing us all the sights and sounds from the first day. 